Hi and welcome to the Adam Sharp channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohamed Azam with another screencast. Um, this screencast, in this screencast, basically what we are going to do is we're going to check out the iOS 5 appearance API, which allows you to configure and style your controls um, much, you know, in a, in a uh, more pragmatic way. And uh, you can basically style your controls in one place and then the style is carried out to basically all your application controls. So let's see what the problem we are facing is. So we have a view controller and I'm just going to drag a view controller on a uh, storyboard. Um, and let's see. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, put a navigation controller or, or embed a navigation controller with it. So here we go. So we have a navigation controller and if I see over here uh, the class is UI view controller. That's okay. Let's run this application and see what is going on. Okay, so it's going to build the application. The application is called Demo Appearance because it is the Appearance API. Let's see what's going on over here. Taking a horribly long time. Let's actually stop this thing. And uh, let's try to run it again. There we go. Let's see. Now let's run it again. Yeah, using Camtasia with Xcode uh, screen recording, it is just painfully slow. Anyway, so we have this uh, app and it's running now, and you can see that it's just a simple navigation bar being displayed and what we want to do is we want to simply change this the color of this navigation bar okay so it's pretty easy I mean you can simply go to the view controller itself and uh, I'm just gonna uncomment this line because we are simply changing the navigation bar dot tint color and if I run it again you will see that the navigation bar oops it's not change it's kinda weird uh, view did load view controller mm. wow that is a first timer <laughs> let's see which uh, view controller it is a uh, so UI view controller I'm just gonna say view controller I'm sorry so here we go so we have to set up the class first so this class right so now if I run this, you will see that the navigation bar tint color is now changed to green as we did inside our view controller file. And uh, that's pretty cool. But what will happen if I go ahead and add a another UI view controller? So I'm building a little bit bigger application, like a medium size application. And I simply drag in, uh, drag another view controller. And I say, okay, editor, embed in a navigation controller. There we go. And now I want to change the uh, the tint color of this one. So I'll have to add another UI uh, view controller, you know, the class, the header file, and the implementation file, just like this. And I have to change this color again, OK? Or I have to somehow change, uh, like if I go over here, I will have to, wow, uh, change the tint color from over here. see anyway so you, you see the problem that we are facing right now right um, the problem that we are of course facing is that if we add more and more of these uh, you know controllers then we will have to change it again and again and again on each single one of them and this is not really a nice way to do it so what we can do is we can use the appearance api and in order to use that i'm simply going to go to my uh, app delegate file and i'm just going to say okay navigation uh, ui navigation bar appearance and i can pretty much access all the properties so i'm just going to say set tint color and I can simply change it to UI color, uh, blue color. 
okay and by using the appearance API uh, I can simply change all of my controls uh, basically or all of the UI navigation bar appearances will be changed to the blue color so if I run right now you will see that it will be automatically be changed to a uh, blue color and if I even add more controllers if I even add uh, you know more uh, I would say uh, UI view controllers or any kind of controllers containing the UI navigation bar its uh, color will be automatically set to blue because I have already changed it over here in the appearance using the appearance API um, if you do and there are some scenarios where you don't want everything to be like blue color like the navigation bar maybe you want to change something then in that scenario you can use this approach because this will override uh, the basically whatever you set in the uh, in the appearance API or using the appearance API and this will override it and then you can simply change it in the, in that scenario and navigation UI navigation bar is just a very you know just one of the controls that you can change but th this is a whole controls I mean it's a, a whole field of controls that you can change anything like you want to change the appearance of a text box you want to change the background of the text box you want to change the the grid uh, you know the grid uh, color you want to change the UI you know table view anything you want to do you can use this appearance API to change the styling properties of those controls and have the consistent look in your application that's pretty much it uh, check out the appearance API it's pretty cool and uh, I hope you like this screencast thank you very much